Welcome back to Dorpedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw a test from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now first of all, I'm gonna draw the hair across her face with a diagonal curve line to the left and slightly downwards. Same as a turn downwards at that corner and flare it back to the left at the lower point and turn it outwards. Sharp turn back upwards with a curve line. And below that piece of hair, I'm gonna draw another curve line downwards. Sharp turn diagonally up to the left with a diagonal curve line. And on the left side of that, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line downwards and to the left at that corner. Sharp turn back upwards with curve line, turn it back inwards at that point. Curve line back outwards to the left, sharp turn diagonally upwards with curve line, and semi-circle turn sideways to the right. Turn it back downwards on her hairline and curve it back to the left. On the right side of that, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line downwards from the hairline to the right, extend it downwards, sharp turn back upwards with the curve line and slightly out on the right corner. Turn it back slightly inwards at the upper corner. On the right side of that piece of hair, a curve line outwards at this middle point Sharp turn back diagonally inwards with the curve line. Turn it upwards and semi circle turn to the middle point of her hair. On the lower right side of that hair, I'm gonna draw a curve line at that corner. Sharp turn back upwards. Sharp turn back diagonally down to the left. Now for a face shape, I'm gonna draw a line downwards on the right corner. Turn it diagonally to the middle point and to her chin. Curve line across at the chin. Turn it diagonally back upwards on the left side. Right there. Now for her face, I'm gonna draw her eyebrow in the middle point and off center to the left. A short line downwards. Turn it diagonally upwards to the left and curve line across to the left. Repeat that same set of curve line at the upper corner right here. Below the eyebrow, I'm gonna draw her eye from the inner corner, diagonal curve line upwards to the left. semi circle turn downwards at the outer corner. Curl it back upwards at the outer corner. For the lower line of the eye, I'm gonna draw from the inner corner of the eye, curve line across to the left, semi circle turn diagonally up at the outer corner. I'm gonna thicken the outer corner of the eye at this lower point and I'm gonna thicken the upper line of the eye on the left corner and the middle point right there. Inside of the eye, I'm gonna draw her pupil with a circular shape in the middle point. And inside of the eye, I'm gonna draw on the top left corner a small circle and a black circle in the middle point. Copy the whole eyebrow shape and the eye shape on the right side. Now in between the eye, I'm gonna draw at the inner corner on both the left and right, short curve line diagonally downwards and to the middle point. Below the eye in the middle point, I'm gonna draw the tip of her nose with a U curve line at that corner and at the side of that I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards on both the left and right. Below the nose I'm gonna draw her mouth from the left corner, curve line slightly downwards across to the middle point, turn it slightly downwards in the middle point and mirror the whole thing on the right side right there. From the outer corner of the mouth, I'm gonna draw her upper lips with diagonal curve line across and slightly upwards to the right. Turn it downwards in the middle point 
and mirror the same shape of the lips on the right side. For the lower lips, I'm going to draw from the same outer corner, diagonal curve line downwards to the middle point, curve line across in the middle, and semicircle turn back diagonally upwards on the right side. Below her left eye, I'm going to draw a love symbol at that corner. Now for her neck, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards below her head on the left corner and on the right corner. From the right ending point, a U curve line across to the left. From the right side of the neck, I'm going to draw a curve line out, semi good turn downwards. And on the right side of that, an arch curve line at that corner. Semi good turn to the left with a curve line. Turn it back upwards on the left corner. Semi good turn upwards. And above that ending point, I'm gonna draw a curve line up. Semi good turn to the right. Below the scarf on the right, I'm gonna draw a strap across her body from the right downwards to the left right there and another similar curve line across at this lower point on the right side at the upper ending point I'm going to turn it sideways to the left and at the ending point on the left at this lower point a line downwards along that strap at the upper corner I'm gonna draw the buckle with a line downwards at the side of her scarf and another similar line on the left side of that. Inside of the strap, I'm going to draw at the upper corner, diagonal line downwards on the top left corner right there, across to the right, turn it back diagonally up on the right corner. Mirror that same set of line at this lower point. Along the strap, I'm going to trace the same curve line across at this upper corner along the edge continue that line across to her shoulder and I'm gonna do the same thing at this lower point below the scarf in the middle I'm gonna draw a line across at that point turn it downwards on the left corner across and slightly downwards to the left turn it downwards at that point I'm going to trace the same outline along the edge at this inner corner. At the lower right corner of the buckle, I'm going to draw a curve line to the right and slightly downwards. Turn it downwards at the outer corner. Repeat that same set of line at this lower point and on the left. And below that ending point, I'm going to draw a curve line across to the left right there. And another similar curve line at this lower point. A line downwards at the ending point on the right. And I'm going to copy the same curve line again at this lower point. And another one right there. A line downwards on both ending points at the sides. Continue the line of the armor from the top at the side downwards and below the second strap and I'm going to do the same thing on the right corner. From the ending point below, curve line across in the middle point. Along the edge of that shape, I'm going to trace the same set of line right there. and above and in between the strap. Now on the left side of her scarf, I'm going to draw a line downwards at that corner, turn it sideways to the left and back upwards on the left corner. Curve line across to the right and at that corner in the middle point, I'm going to leave a gap and continue that curve line across to the scarf. Along the edge of that shape on the left corner, I'm going to trace the same set of line and at this lower point and on the right side right there. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw triangular shapes right there, 
and repeat that same triangular shape at this upper corner and another one at the top point I'm gonna mirror this whole thing on the right shoulder as well right there and at the outer corner of that shoulder pad I'm gonna draw a curve line out zigzag line downwards along the sleeve turn it outwards at the lower point and turn it downwards below that ending point I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line across to the side of her armor and at the outer corner curve line downwards Continue that curve line downwards below the straps right there. Flare it back outwards on her waist. And I'm gonna copy the same thing on the right side right here. At the ending point below, I'm gonna draw a zigzag line across. Like that. And below that inner shirt, continue that line of her waist diagonally out and downwards. And curve line across for the top of her pants from the left corner to the right. Now for her left arm, I'm going to draw a curve line outwards from the sleeve at this upper corner. Semi circle turn downwards. And below that ending point, diagonal curve line downwards and to the left and to her elbow point. Same as a turn back to the right and downwards from the elbow point and for the inner line of her arm I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line upwards from the lower point of her sleeve right there and below that in the middle point diagonal curve line downwards and to the left and below that another diagonal curve line to the right and downwards an arch curve line to the right, curl it upwards for the thumb and curve line to the right. Below that, a curve line across to the right, same as the turn downwards, diagonal curve line to the left and downwards, same as the turn back diagonally out to her wrist right there. On the right side of her arm, I'm gonna draw the bullet on her belt with diagonal line upwards and to the right curve it to the right at the upper point and mirror that same shape on the right side right here at the ending point below I'm gonna draw a curve line across and inside of that I'm gonna draw some curve line across right there and another one in the middle point and another one above that I'm gonna repeat the same shape of the bullet across diagonally to the right. Buckle. On the right side of that bullet, I'm gonna draw the buckle of a belt with a line across to the right. Turn it downwards on both sides, turn it back inwards at that ending point, turn it downwards, align back outwards on both sides, turn it downwards and curve line across. On the right side of the buckle, I'm gonna draw some more bullets across to the right side of her belt right there well, for the upper line of the belt I'm gonna draw across in between the bullets diagonal curve line to the buckle of the belt all the way to the right side right there and for the lower line, I'm gonna draw a similar curve line across in between the bullets at this lower point. Below the belt in the middle point, I'm gonna draw a curve line across 
right there and below that curve line on the left corner I'm going to draw the inner line of her thigh with diagonal curve line downwards and slightly to the left now for the outer line of the leg I'm going to draw another curve line downwards below her hand turn it slightly inwards towards her knee point and below the knee point I'm going to draw another curve line downwards and flare it slightly out and turn it back inwards towards her ankle point and I'm going to do the same thing for the inner line of that leg at the outer corner of that leg I'm going to trace the same outline from the lower point of the belt at the side right there along the edge right here at the ending point below I'm going to draw in the middle point a long rectangular shape right there and inside of that rectangular shape I'm going to draw some lines across at the side of that shape at the upper corner a line outwards to the left turn it downwards I'm going to do the same thing for the right side below that I'm going to draw a line across and extend it slightly out on both sides turn it downwards curve line back to the middle point at this lower point below that shape continue the line of the boots downwards on both sides and at that ending point I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line across to the left and downwards another similar line at this lower point on the left corner, curve line downwards, and on the right corner, another curve line downwards. Repeat the same shape at this left side in an opposite direction to the right right there. Continue the line of the leg downwards in between those two shapes, and below I'm going to continue it downwards flare it slightly out and semicircle turn back to the middle point I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side right here in the middle point of that I'm gonna draw a curve line across below that I'm gonna draw at the side line downwards and flare it slightly out on both the left and right curve line across from the left Along the way, I'm going to draw some rectangular niche right there and another one and across all the way to the right right there. Inside of the boots, below the anchor point, I'm going to draw a line downwards off center on the left across to the right, turn it back upwards on the right corner. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw two lines across at that corner. Now for the right leg, I'm going to draw from the side of her waist a line out, turn it diagonally downwards, and I'm going to copy the same shape of the leg, similar to her right leg. On her thigh, I'm going to draw a strap with a curve line diagonally across to the right, and below that, I'm going to draw another similar curve line across. At the ending point on both sides, a line downwards, right there, and below the strap, I'm gonna copy the same shape of the leg on the right side.
on the right side of her right thigh I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape in the outer corner of the strap right here and for the right arm I'm gonna copy the same shape of the arm similar to the left arm for the wristband on the right arm I'm gonna draw a curve line across right there and another one at this lower point diagonal line downwards at the inner corner and the outer corner continue the line of the hand diagonally downwards to the left at the outer corner and curve line across to the left for the inner line And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.